welcome to the quiet demonstration of theft detection and alerting system with a gsm module in this project we are using gsm module and Ad arduino uno board and gsm antenna to potential dividers so here, here we can see potential divider one and two and also using two loads uh, this is the ac load one and this is the ac load two also using uh, lcd display to display the uh, status of the load and also we are using the 230 volts of power cable so connected to the uh, power supply board through power supply board we can give the power supply to this loads and also we are we are using another power supply so here we can see we are using a 12 volts adapter for the arduino board So it takes 230 volts of power supply and will give 12 volts of output. That 12 volts of output will be given to the Arduino Uno board. Through Arduino Uno board, we can give the power supply to this LCD display, buzzer, and JSM module. So here we can see the connection. So the main aim of this project is to detect the theft or uh, the um, load difference differences. Then, if the load differences will be occurred, then it will give, uh, act as a theft. The theft will be displayed on display, and also it will send a message to our registered phone number. So now I am giving the power supply. Before the power supply, so here we can see the two transformers are are in connected in series. So the um, series transformers also called as a CT transformers or the current transformers. So one is connected here, and another connected is here. So this is the load one, and this is the load two. Through a series capacitor, we can read the AC values. So microcontroller does not read any AC values; it will read only digital values. So if we are connecting uh, AC uh, AC values through uh, CT transformer, and also we uh, secondary uh, second of this transformer is connected to the potential divider. So potential divider have a rectifier and it will convert AC to DC. That DC will be given to the converted DC uh, power will be given to the Arduino Uno. So the converted DC will be a uh, less than five volts. That five volts will be given to the A zero, uh, sorry, A two and A three pins. And also we have interfaced with this LCD display to the Arduino Uno board from pin number two to. Pin number seven, and also we have interfaced this buzzer to the pin number thirteen, and we can see the GSM module. GSM means Global System for Mobiles. It is connected to the uh, pin number zero and pin number one. So this is uh, this is connected in UART communication. So UART means Universal Asynchronous. Uh, receiver and transmitter protocol. So first of all, we need to connect this power supply. So we can see display. Welcome to the project. So the situation, uh, the status of the system is normal. So this is the extra load which is connected to the these two power supplies. We can see here. If any uh, load detected. From here, then the potential divide uh, this CT transformer will give a uh, different values to this potential divider. Then potential divider value give it, give to the Arduino Uno board. Then it will compare the uh, CT one uh, CT uh, CT one values and CT two values. Then it will calculate the differences. If there is any differences, then it it will be give a automatic uh, status is theft, and also give a message to our register phone number. Now I am in the power supply, so we can see the light indication of this one. So the status is in normal position. If we add the extra bulb to the load or a power supply, then it will give a status as a theft, and buzzer will be give a buzzer alert. So we can see message is given to our phone number. So we can see theft alert. So this is the so we can see it will come like this. In this way, it will give a message alert. So if we need to 
if we remove this bulb using cloth so now it will be in normal position then this ct will be give a virus to the arduino uno board then it will compare that to potential uh, potential divider values then if the null values become equal then automatically buzzer will be get switched off at the same time status will be in normal and it doesn't uh, send any message so one thing i forgot to say that uh, if we on the power supply to this arduino uno board we need to see gsm model light indication we can see red light indication so if red light indication blinks more speed which means it is not connected to the network if the red light blinks slowly now it is blinking very slowly which means this adl sim is connected to the network then only it is available to send a message to our registered phone number so the is the number will be coded in this microcontroller in this way this project will be works thanks for the watching